the recording, and as we take off with today, we wake up with, after uh, our two party members that have been separated from the rest of the party at the CDC, uh, camp out in the middle of the night, having made their way through. Uh, unfortunately, due to unforeseen events of uh, Lookout, they wake up the next morning to find that a slight horde of zombies has gathered around the outside of the building they've camped out in. Uh, they have yet to be noticed, uh, but this will make life more difficult for them as their next stealth checks will be at minus two due to the just massive amount of zombies surrounding them. Alrighty. I love how to keep slaying it. <laughs> Just zombies. I mean, I know I was robot because I was stuck with Mr. S <laughs> just Michael. No offense to you, Michael, but I, I like there to be a third party. In uh, I've been theory. second. <laughs> Moving on, and I will remember this. I expect you to. I, did, I, I would hope for nothing less. Uh, Alright, so... Is there a way we can access, like, a higher floor or a roof, by chance? Um, you're kind of in a small building, but, uh, you can roll me a notice check at minus two to see if you can find some kind of way up to a roof. Okay. Why at minus two? Yeah, because, again, you're not, in, it's, you'd have to go outside to do it. Like, there's no in way, indoor way of doing it. Can I look through the windows to try and find the best possible path to leave through? Or just like... I don't know. Uh, so, the best possible path to leave through? Uh, so you gotta look out the window... Uh, like I say, at this point, the street's kind of like flooded. There's probably gathering by a quick note look out. You're looking at like three, maybe four hundred zombies. Nice. Uh, as I said, they haven't noticed you. It's just a herd kind of wandering aimlessly. I forget. Did, did we did we say where we would keep staying the night? Hmm? No, we I didn't mean, ever specify where it was. It's something along the lines of Hobo. That is all I remember. What? I, I don't know. Yeah, you guys kind of stayed in like a little like it, you, you found kind of like a little shack. Yeah, like a, a area where it was kind of like run down and beat up with smashed glass, but you were able to find a place to spend the night. By chance, were you by my apartment? Probably not, Michael. Given okay. the vast amount of the city... <laughs> um, hey, well, I, I just figured I'd throw something out there. In your apartment. Listen, I figured I'd just throw something out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know what? Shits and giggles. Roll me a D100, Michael. If you roll a one, you're by your apartment. <laughs> Boy, you better watch what you say, because fate has plans. And they're not for me. <laughs> they are not for you at all. I figured that's fair. 1% chance you were by your apartment all of New York. <laughs> Uh, this my apartment suddenly materializes. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, uh, apartment. Whoosh. <laughs> well, shit. Mm, by chance, is there any way I can make anything out, an explosive in here? Uh, probably not of any significance. No, again, it's kind of just a smash place. Mike it's kind of like a rundown kitchen. Nothing you'd be able to make like a MacGyver explosive. No. I was about to say he's trying to MacGyver his way out of this. <laughs> Listen, I took uh, I took a bonus in explosives. I want to use it once. No. Why I would mean, you think? A... Do you still have your gun? I do. How many bolts you got? Uh, I think. The kid wasted two, so about four, let me check. Three. Okay, now if you had some enough bullets, it might have like you made like a tiny hand you could have probably jimmy rigged a hand grenade with the gunpowder, but not with three bullets. <laughs> what kind of fucking how difficult of a check would that have been? I'd 
It's not that difficult, actually, to make a Jimmy Rig hand grenade with, like, a tin can. I mean, I've seen it done, but it takes a lot more than the gunpowder of three bullets. <laughs> well. I'm running out of options here. Do you got anything? I, I don't. I don't believe I do at all. I have my glass. I have a knife and a laptop with like two percent battery. Joy. Uh... Fuck. I mean, you can also say you look out. You do notice some smash. A couple of cars smashed up. You do notice some other buildings. Um. You don't notice any again. They haven't noticed you, so the zombies are not yeah. aware. That's oh, there. I've been sitting here thinking like, oh, they know we're here. Like they're just, I don't know. No, they're just they're just outside. They are just wandering about. A herd walked past. Alrighty. We could try to wait like half the day, see if they leave. My money's on that's not gonna fucking happen, and we're gonna waste the day. I don't want to go out there. Nor do I. <laughs> do you guys want like uh, a second opinion? Because I'm willing to offer it. Uh, no, no, you're not there. I want to see what they can think of. I <laughs> uh, see here. Well, okay. Well, you were asking for an explosive earlier, right, Michael? Indeed, I was. There. You, uh, roll me a notice check again. Difficult, but flat. Okay, nope. You don't Dave, notice. You know I'm not good at these! <laughs> yeah, well, have that's you, the- that is the check to notice those things. Have you explained that you were looking for this stuff? <laughs> yes, of course I did. I've All been right, asking. can I roll one? I'll allow it. Okay, you notice a gas line. Okay. <laughs> There you go, Michael. A gas line. Go <laughs> off that. All right. Trying to think here what our options are. If I break the gas line, we'd get a bunch of gas in here and we blow up. So quick end, but not <laughs> preferable. Uh, I could, if I had a container, I could probably use that to make some sort of. Hmm. Can I? Right. Can I think of anything to do with a gas line that could get us out of the situation? <laughs> Um, I, Liam doesn't know. My character might. I mean, my character would know something. I mean, well, I mean, short of playing the game for you, uh, roll me, uh, what would this be? Uh, you could roll me an engine, a difficult engineering, if you have it, the engineering skill. Engine, what type of engineering? Does it matter? Uh, probably mechanical. I'll let you roll explosives, Michael. I suppose, if you, since you have explosives. Sure. I, I love. Have, I like making things go boom. I have electrical engineering. I don't have mechanical engineering. God, no. motherfucker. Nice. Roll again, Michael. No. So yeah, you 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 rolled up. Just uh, it's just a <sighs> that's a. But, uh, yeah, so you you have no idea, no. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> you are on your own here. I have actually no clue what we could fuck, like, to do with, like, explosives and shit. That is not something I know at all. Well, what we could do... No, that still attracts... To... What we could try to do... We could fill Michael, the building I'm with... I'm trusting you on this. If we both die, it's entirely your fault. <laughs> I know it is. Okay, so what we could do... Take that weight on your shoulders. What we can do is we can fill the building with gas. We leave the building. Then I can, then we can try to set like a fuse to cause the building to explode. We track the zombies over to that direction. Problem is we need to do it. We need to get enough space away from the zombies so we don't attract them to us. So not a very viable plan. We could also potentially. If is there any way we can have any containers that can contain the gas? Hmm, doubt it. We're in a hobo shack. I think I think Heath just kind of threw us a bone by giving us a gas line. 
I mean, containers that would uh, contain gas would probably... Yeah, you'd actually need something capable of holding atmosphere, so like, pressure. Yeah, like, and I don't then... have a spare propane tank. Yeah. Because technically you can put, like, uh... Two, 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 two. Fuck, natural gas in a... in, like... A box, for instance, as long as it's airtight, but it, it needs to be pressurized for it to actually do anything, and you need a way to pressurize it. So, yeah, I doubt I have anything like that. Look at me using the anarchist cookbook. <laughs> Give me a copy. Cookbook right now. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, no. I love how no one was like, wait, you've read that? No, everyone just went, yes, of course you have. You're from the middle, you're, you're from Eastern, her, Eastern Europe. We just assume you're a terrorist in nature. That's just how it goes. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Jordan, I don't assume that. Neither One, do I. That. Um, <laughs> knowing, jo knowing Jordan, I, I assume that. I mean, uh, Jordan specifically is Eastern Europe, different, but for, because he's Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not because he's Eastern European. Just, just has like a, a digital copy and a physical copy of the Anarchist Cookbook on hand. Hey, Laura, as a Eastern European, I'll have you know that we can kill shit real good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... Uh, no, I mean, yeah, that's... we can't, we can't just, like, put a lighter <laughs> down there and light it, because it just won't take at that point. Um. The only thing I can think of is just fill the fucking place with gas and kill ourselves. Like, there's nothing much more we could do. So your option, so... Other our than option... walking out there and trying to stealth around, you think our only option is just killing ourselves? <laughs> it's... Man. I say that out of character, by the way. Um, so, our only option with this is really, at this point, all I can think of is break the gas... Like, open the gas valve, let gas flood this building, and then try to ignite it somewhat from a somewhat distance, attract the zombies to it, and hopefully away from us. But I don't M think that's Michael, gonna work. Michael, Michael, Michael. Okay. That's a nice little thought and all, but there is a different way to accomplish what you're looking for without leaving the apartment. I mean, well, not without leaving the apartment, but like... <laughs> hmm. Follow the gas main to a different building! Think... no. Uh, yeah, that, that's like on the same lines that I was um, suggesting. Well, hinting, really. I Like, th there is a way for you to use a gas line, but I am running, I'm probably, like, edging towards what Heat will allow me to say enough. So. Yeah, yeah, I, you're not playing for him. <laughs> you're not in the group. And even yeah. if you were, you are fucking a retard I mean, as a character. I'd love to help, <laughs> but Michael, I genuinely don't know anything about this. I mean, Neither you can still I. roll your check just to see if you can get it. That'll give I mean, you a hint. Sure. Do, you, what, do you want me to roll like a difficult intelligence? Yeah, yeah, that's what it would be. Ten. There you go. Uh, so, I mean, part of what you could do with the gas line is less about blowing up the house, because that's not actually how gas lines work generally, because the windows are open. Like, you wouldn't be able to, the, the gas would just flow it out into the street. <laughs> right? Yep. But you could start a fire with it and hopefully attract them towards it and possibly increasing your ability to stealth away with the fire going on. Because they'll that... be attracted to the fire and the sounds of it. Wouldn't that point their direction towards us? or It would, but at the we same time... The fire would... and we leave. You leave away from the fire... It would basically give you a flat stealth check because it would distract them enough that you get a flat stealth check to leave. Great. Now we get a flat stealth check for us to both fail. All right, yeah. I'm in. 
All right, let's do it. I'm in. I'm like, I'm Boys, we going out. I'm giving you a bone here. Push comes to shove. I'm stabbing Michael in the leg and running. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> I will shoot you first. All right. Then <laughs> we both die. Which brings up the I'm interesting. I'm fine with that. Now, with that, how are you guys going to light the gas line? I have a gun. <laughs> the one time I'm actually feel so fucking helpless in a damn scenario, man. <laughs> uh... I don't know any of this stuff. I'm a sheltered fucking nerd. I don't know this. I have a gun which would... does have a piece so We're of just gonna shoot the gas line. <laughs> well, no, we're gonna start... We're gonna start a fire somehow. Uh... <laughs> We didn't start the fire. It was in the Wait. car. Wait, is it daytime? Is there light coming in through the window? Yes, there is daytime. All right. Please I'm... don't. No, no, no. Oh. Please continue, continue. I was just exclaiming. <laughs> well, I was about to say, we have some pretty flammable objects like dry paper or, you know, like, like construction paper, or, you know, crap like that. Like, we could potentially use his glasses in the sun to start a fire. That is a possibility. You would have to get the exact angle and hold it still for probably at least a minute. <laughs> um, I'd say you can easily find, like, paper and stuff. I mean, it's a building. You could find some sort of flammable material. Yeah. Window curtains. This concludes my TED Talk. That's also a very good point. I'm glad Jordan's smart, because <laughs> I am not. No, I'm not either. Uh, yeah, he is playing the retard in the group. <laughs> yeah, no, roles <laughs> really should have been reversed. <laughs> roles really should have been reversed. All right. Yep. All right, let's tr try to light a fire with your glasses. I mean, to be fair, Michael, you do, you did play like um, the best dumb character I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, roll me a difficult dex. Uh, to hold that I still. Here. I have a four de in dex. Hey, me too! Only one of you can roll. I'm not letting I... you touch my glasses. Alright, fine. Okay, uh, so I will say that is that is the uh, is a success rate. So you do get some, uh, you do light a bit of paper on fire after holding it still for a few, for a few minutes. All right, let's burn this bitch and get out of here. All right. All right, Mr. Janitor, please continue. <laughs> no, we're, we're just Andy, like I'm plan. stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right there. Okay, so you light the, the, the you light up a thing, you set the gas on. Uh, I will say for the sake of fair, uh, Michael, roll me another demolitions. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, finally. So you, you have no problem lighting the thing, because if you failed that, it would have exploded. <laughs> like, you just would have lit yourself. Oh, God! Uh, you, you were smart enough to set the gas up first, get the gas, light the fuse, kind of push it, and then a comes up as you guys make your way. The zombies on the side of the road kind of see the spark of the building light up and they start turning towards and certainly going towards it. This giving you an opportunity to make a flat stealth check and hopefully you aren't noticed as you sneak away as they move towards the fire. And no, it just failed. <laughs> yeah. And That's I succeeded. Uh, so, the zombies notice <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Yeah. As they turn to uh, like, and not all, not all of them, but if you notice Noah, go, and start moving towards Noah. Accelerated. Um, what do you do, Noah? As you see these zombies approaching. I'm gonna start moving faster, but try and pretend I'm still being stealthy. <laughs> um. So you like want to dash stealth? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna like start walking a little faster and like stealth walk faster and just tap John on the shoulders and just point behind me and then continue going. Just power walking. Yep, yeah, pretty, pretty much. 
Did you just break my stealth? Yeah, if he if he actively taps you on the shoulder, he has now Please brought don't. attention to you. Please don't actually do that. He did it. He, he said it. He did it. I'm <laughs> As you shoot him, and then just like every zombie notices you. There's about. I, I was close. <laughs> There's I about, swear to God. There's about a there's about a dozen zombies now noticing the pair of you, which is the vast minority, because there was a few hundred. I have a question. Uh, Are I'm any leaving. Of the, I was about to say, I feel like we could probably outpower walk these guys. Uh, and then the fast ones come along. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm around. leaving. Okay. I'm out. So roll me, both of you roll me dash checks. Difficult. I don't have dash. Uh, then it is a straight strength check, I believe, or is it dex? Cool. I, I thought it was dex. I think it, it might, might be constitution. constitution. Uh, I, I think Why it's strength or dash be uh, constitution. So we because don't run we're out running, and it doesn't matter how much. It doesn't matter. Why, why don't we check the I, I'm I'm checking. I'm loading him up right now. <laughs> Give okay. me a sec, guys. It's a big book. <laughs> yeah, uh. Like Jay, in, yeah, Jay, you fucking asshole! Good. You goddamn asshole! I was fine. Plus, speed is a strength-based thing, not a dexterity-based thing. Is you can be the most agile pr motherfucker on the planet, but that doesn't increase your speed. That's a strength thing with the power of your legs. Look at a runner; what? their legs are pure muscle. <laughs> isn't our isn't our speed determined by our dexterity in this game, though? And strength. It's it's a combo dex and strength. Uh, okay. All right. I'll That's just go fine. with it. Uh, let, one sec, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Uh, do, 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 crafting, I wonder. disguise, dodge, driving, dancing. What the hell? Where's I think that? it's strength plus constitution times two. That's how you determine speed. Uh, hmm. I thought there was a dash skill. Did I get that mixed up? I uh, oh, no, there's had a dash it. skill. Yeah, what, oh, what did, Jordan, did just one. look at your sheet. What does it say? <laughs> yep. Uh, hold on. It's called, uh... God, the fucking sheet. Uh, it's called the running. Ah, there we go. It's a Parentheses dash. That's why uh, I'm getting mixed up. I got, I'm looking under the wrong letter. Yep. Uh, what skill? Running types. Uh, dashing trait uh, increases short speed distances. Dash uh, increases for speed to six full level. Quarter below the secondary attribute. Uh, marathon 20.2 hours. Character can use constitution attribute uh, for long distance. I'll uh, for short distance. Uh, character increases speed for short distance. Const constitution. Yeah, it's constitution for both. Uh, well, okay. Fuck. Uh, okay, difficult. Noah. Jay, you... I'm Jay. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> okay. Noah, you dash out as you just just <gasps> like you're you're barely making it, but you're just you're you're like that poor out of shape runner who's never ran very fast in his life, just kind of slowly moving as quick as you can. Uh, you on the other hand, though, start dashing. As you start, oh god, oh god, as you look behind you, as a couple zombies do come up and take a couple bites out of you, Michael. Well, do they still have to roll the hit? No, these are auto. That's what this is for. <laughs> Jay, I'm going to fucking kill you. But don't worry. Maybe. Okay, you get bit for a total of eight, and then slapped in the back of the head for a total of two. Can you bring up my token so I can add this up? Uh, I will slap you back over to the rooftop so you can do that. So you lost a total of... Ten. Ten. No, I, my mistake. I meant to say I'm four, not two. I rolled a two. You took four. So twelve. Oh, thanks. Even better. Jay, you Even fucking asshole. And then I gotta roll something. Yeah, yeah. Tell me how fucked I am. Okay. You don't get to know this. This is my role. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was helping let you know I was going to get fucked. I'm going to shoot you in the leg and leave you to die. So the plus side is you didn't fail miserably enough that you're going to, that you don't break away and continue your flee, uh, Michael. 
So you successfully break away and continue fleeing. I'm still going to kill him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you guys start dashing through the street, uh, moving quickly, uh, the zombies, uh, you do outpace them. Luckily, no runners were in the group. And you guys continue moving. As you move down the street at full dash, do uh, you guys just keep running at full speed, or what are you doing now? As soon as we're out of range, I'd say we try and slow down. Sure. I'll okay. stealth now. Don't worry, I'm going to fail stealth again. Don't you worry, Michael. Stay away from me. <laughs> Stay away from me. Don't fucking worry, buddy. <laughs> If you approach me, I will shoot you in the head and leave you for dead. <laughs> so you guys I mean, can both roll stealths. Yeah! <laughs> I will kill you. Get roll your stealth again, Noah. Because, okay, oh. so you got a 16. So, Noah goes whoosh, into the shadows. Uh, you, unfortunately, Michael, bleeding profusely from the bite mark in your neck. Kind of like, ah, fuck! As uh, you scream out and... You hear a couple sounds of <laughs> as you look over and you see a runner look right at you. Can I shoot? Can I shoot Noah now? <laughs> I would argue. Roll me a don't... notice check to see if you can. I notice. Was say, I would <laughs> oh no! I don't want to roll notice. I just wanted to ask if I could. I mean, he's super stealth. Like he disappeared. He got a he got a critical success. Uh, <laughs> okay. He's in Skyrim now, just waking up in a cottage. <laughs> Uh, no. I'm gonna, no, I'm just going to run for it. Okay, so you go for a run at full speed. Uh, this thing can outrun you. You can tell that this thing's gaining, and you do not have the endurance to outrun this thing. Uh, but you do see a building you might be able to dash into. So roll me a dash check again. Statistically, you can't fail this. Never mind! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What do you mean I can't fail this? <laughs> I'm uh, rolling threes all day. So I you... know the price. <laughs> I want to. I want to be the first to say I genuinely didn't think tapping you on the shoulder would fucking ruin it. <laughs> well, dude, you literally walk up to him and bring your attention to him as they are locked on to you. <laughs> like it's kind of like they see both of you now. <laughs> Right. Jay, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so that was calculated risk, but man, am I fucking bad at math? <laughs> Jay, Jay, you, you, Jay, you need to remember being stealthed and being invisible two different conditions. <laughs> so you take another six damage, Michael. This thing just cracks you into the side of the head, but you do make it inside the building, close the door behind you. Uh, I have five hit points. Oh, that's bad, because that means all your checks are now at minus one due to bleed out. Jay, you Ooh. fucking asshole. Because <laughs> you, uh, you are below a quarter health now. Jay, I will continue to blame <laughs> you for every bad thing that happens. If I make it out of this, you will be forgiven. If I do not, though, you are... I will destroy you. If you don't make it out of it, then there's nothing... There's no one to bitch at me now, is there? <laughs> You're going to be dead. So Joseph wait till I roll up my next character. Just wait. <laughs> No, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a Draco situation where just his broom just like zooms on by and just says, "Fuck you." <laughs> so John Smith, you are now stuck in this building as you just hear this runner banging at the door. You close. You look about. You're in this tiny little fucking like shack of a building. Uh, the door's not very good, but you kind of like find something to kind of put in front of it to, to stabilize it. And you just hear <laughs> just banging on the door, grunting and groaning. Uh, Noah, you're what are you doing as you are stealth looking at John's blood just soak on the road? Did I see him run into the shack? Yeah, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> All righty then. Now see, I'd love to help and fight him, but one, I'm not good at fighting, two, I have the cowardly drawback, so I don't know. Oh, you owe me, you fucking <laughs> asshole. You better think of something or else I will destroy you in my next life. <laughs> you can also expect the sentiment to carry over to Humblewood. <laughs> Just unintentionally kill eat. damn. 
I mean, to be fair, you almost killed him twice already, number one, Michael. <laughs> Oh, listen, that was his fault. He wasted <laughs> all of his rages, and then fucking just decided to all run right, All right, all right, keep, 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 it in, keep it in this damn system for the anger, all right? <laughs> Anyways, where are you doing, Noah? Is it only the one runner that's noticed him? You've only, there's only one runner on the street. You guys tracked the one runner. What I do, man? I can walk up and just try and stab it for a whole potentially four damage. Do it. <laughs> no. I mean, he's got the cowardly feet. That's not realistic. That's his drawback is cowards. So. Yeah. <laughs> he realistically won't risk his life to save you. He might have save you, but he's not going to risk his life to do it. Uh, is there any other buildings nearby? Uh, roll me a notice check. All right. Okay, uh, I say you look about, and you do notice, uh, like, across from John Smith's building, you do see what looks to be kind of like an old, uh, or not an old, but a, a, a store, like a, cl a clothing store. You see, like, a mannequin and wearing, like, a clothing in it by a window. Is it a tiny store, Heath? <laughs> yeah, most stores in New York are, honestly, like, okay. in this area, in the Bronx. <laughs> Someone that I went to New York for a few times, yeah, I can confirm pretty much all the stores are like I can be in store at best. Okay, hold up for a second, Andy. Is it a basic willpower check to try and do something that could potentially endanger me? Yes, it would be a will check for, to see if you can overcome fear, but because you have the cowardly trait, what's how, how, how many levels? Two, that's why I'm asking about it. I'll allow a will check with a minus two due to your coward trait. Nope. No. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically, uh, you're throwing a rocket at this wind. Are the windows already broken on the store? This one, actually, the windows are not broken. Would realistically me throwing a rock from a distance away and breaking it break my stealth? Oh, yeah, definitely would possibly break your stealth. <sighs> I mean, here's the thing. What's your character's strength? Okay, breaking a window with a rock is not as easy as people think it is. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Now see, Liam wants to do one thing. Noah would never do that in a million fucking years. <laughs> right, so you would have to get re re really close to that window to get enough heft to it to break the window. So, here's how the mechanics would work. I would allow you to throw the rock. You would have to be about 20 feet from the window at the bare minimum to break it. Like, that, at the very least. You would then get to roll a, de a stealth check at minus two to see if you can get back into stealth before the runner notices you. I already failed my willpower check. This is going to be very difficult for me to potentially endanger myself. I don't know. <laughs> That's fair. Uh... <clears throat> On the other hand, you could just leave John Smith to die and bugger off. It's your call. Hey, man, the entire party's doing it. Why not you? Uh, uh, I can't no. wait to see y'all get out of this and then just come back and kill all of you. Hey, Except hey, Caleb. Caleb was cool. hey, hey, Michael, just FYI, you ditched us. Hey, Michael, I thought hey, we were all leaving Mike. when the maniac brought a zombie horde to us. Hey, it wasn't a maniac. He was a guy hey, just... He was hey, tied up with the radio around his neck. I'm talking about the fucking guy who thinks he's in a fucking space marine! He's talking hey, about Michael. Fell. Hey, Michael. Oh. Hey, Michael. Yes. You know, there's two things. I genuinely could do both. I'm gonna... Eyes are low, motherfucker. Eyes are low. Low. Well, let's just match everything else that's happened this week. Never mind. He's gone. Come <laughs> going. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> If it was a one, he would try it very begrudgingly. <laughs> and then immediately start running away from you. <laughs> after, literally after he shattered the window, you he would me. leave. And I hope no you know this. <laughs> what? I what, was going to survive all of this, but you killed me. <laughs> oh. Okay, John Smith, what are you doing now? Is you said I'm in. What am I? Where am I? You said like a power store. Like what? You're kind, kind of, of like in a in like a little shack uh, building. So basically, you look about. You realize it's a storage room, right? You you're, you're attached to what looks like a storage room to a store. 
right? You, you look uh -huh. about you, you see kind of like a few uh, boxes. Uh, you know, for, for the shits and giggles of it, you're basically in a cleaning supply uh, storage room. Great. I'll replace my broom while I'm here and leave. I'll go through the other exit. It's a storage room, Michael. They only have one exit. This isn't like the back storage room as a store or something? No, this is like and you're out an outside storage room where people put the dangerous chemicals because they don't want it near the rest of the building. Oh, great. So you're telling me I'm screwed is what you're telling me. Well, Throw the could... chemicals at them, man. <laughs> Just throw toxic waste at them. See what happens. I mean, I was expecting Noah to help you. Um, he has done nothing to hurt me. With you and Heath, I told you he was cowardly. Uh, you okay? Roll me a notice check as you look about. Because I'm good at those. Motherfucker. Uh, you look about trying to find something that would help you. Um. You don't see anything directly in the area that would be completely uh, useful to bust through. Um, that would that would might be able to assist. Uh, you can just throw me and let's just make it a simple intelligence check for a hint. Sure, why not? Okay. Final. I mean, I hope you get it, Michael. You would literally have to roll a one to fail a simple intelligence check. Oh, don't test my luck, Heath. <laughs> we both know that I have awful luck. You've seen it. Okay. It's someone who's trying to kill us. So, when, to escape, you think your best bet is either to A, fight the zombie. You look at yourself, you're probably not in the shape for that. Nope. You could possibly take your pistol, take some crack shots, and hope for the best. Right? Just still, still seems like an awful idea. I'm giving. I'm listing these from bad to worse, from, from, from worse to like you have a slight chance. Okay. <laughs> um, your third option is, if it's possible, to crack the door open enough, and if you get lucky, to possibly get a shot at the glass behind you. Maybe you could shatter the glass enough to distract the zombie for you to make it to a different room. If you use, and I'll say what you find, bottles in the store to create a sort of silencer to try to muffle the gunshot. It doesn't really sound like I have another option, so... Those are the two, three options I can think of. If you can think of a fourth option, you can go for it. <laughs> hey, Michael. Michael. Uh, look at the genital chat, okay? You All looking? Right. Yeah. Okay. So zombies are two blocks high. So if you can like fashion a half slab, put it on the door, and then mine the block uh, below, as indicated by this picture. <laughs> <laughs> you win. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's go with the silencer. Okay. I'm going like not to make that joke. <laughs> So you go for the silencer, roll me a weapons attack with the pistol. Hold on. Let's see if I somehow bounce back. Nope. Oh my <laughs> god, roll again! That's... <laughs> Do I have a, even a chance to bounce back at this point? No. Well, you could have rolled two tens in a row. That would, sh that would flatten it. <sighs> Uh, so that's a minus, that's a minus 10. Sorry. <laughs> um, wow, that's Okay, a, you killed me. That's, that's, that puts you at a negative three. The gun it explodes backfires and in, shoots him in the head. Yeah, basically the gun explodes in your hand as you get some kind of weird stray bullet and it just explodes. Uh, I feel as though this physically <laughs> is not possible. Well, I like explode, explode, but like it jams to the point where the back bullet kind of fucks the gun up. <laughs> Basically, the gun is broke. Y you lost your gun. Uh, with with and a negative my three. Of um, roll me. Uh, and as you do it, though, the zombie goes in to kind of rip the door open. Roll me. Uh, strength. A difficult strength. They try to keep that door shut. 
Oof. Uh, yeah, the zombie rips the door open. And uh, I guess we'll end this with a combat to see if you can survive. <laughs> the answer is no. I have five hit points, and this is a runner. Yeah, probably not. Runners, runners are actually kind of easy, um, are actually kind of okay to deal with on a one on one situation, just that it's better if you uh, have equipment. John, John, just close your eyes and think of Bell. <laughs> Let your inner demon rage get okay. to you. Pretend inner that it pretend it's Noah. Inner demon is raging. <laughs> okay, roll your initiative. I swear to God, if I make it out of this somehow, I'm going to kill that fucker. <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't be upset with it, dude. I didn't think it would end in this. <laughs> I will find you, I will find another gun, I will take a shotgun, point at the back of your fucking head and say, Remember me, asshole, and fucking fire I without would any regrets. We both just run into a building and hide. <laughs> but okay. no. Uh, I will... <coughs> oh god, no. Oh god, no! Oh my god! Okay, I gotta screen cap this. He's oh, going to be angry. No. <laughs> Just because you won't believe me unless I do. Heath, I hate you. I'm more. Please. I hate. I hate Liam more. <laughs> sorry, my God. No, there's no sorry. <laughs> you kill him. <laughs> sorry, it just doesn't mean anything. John Smith no longer exists. He died as he lived. This is what the zombie people. rolled for his initiative. Oh, hey, <laughs> like I rolled my new watch. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I was actually feeling good about that initiative, too. Oh, wait, oh. it rolled a one. Okay, no, it still rolled like a 27. Uh it was a 37 so, oh, before, oh. now it's just a 27. Guys, I'm not having fun with this game. <laughs> sorry. No, uh, Liam, no, you don't get to say sorry. I, hey, man. Just Michael, just, Michael, just think about it. You're going to join the Dead Poet Society. Literally. God. <laughs> I don't get even get that reference. Games in the afterlife. It, you don't have to. It's just that the fact you're dead. All right, there's the zombie. <laughs> We'll add initiative. Uh, do you think I could like spill some chemicals and make this zombie trip and fall as I run away? I mean, you could take an attempt at it. I got a broom, so I got a thing to knock shit down. Cause I can't win this thing in a straight up fight, even if, say even if I survive a turn. Phew, it's a good thing that those people didn't put caps on those bottles of chemicals. That's odd. Where the heck? Mike. My god, if you think that the broom is an instrument for knocking things down, then you're for a shitty janitor. John <laughs> <laughs> Smith is secretly a cat. <laughs> oh yeah, Zombie will make its first attack on John Smith. I'm gonna make this public just because. Uh, this is with a plus three, mind you. So that's a ten and that hits. Let's see how much damage. Jay, you fuck. Eight damage! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. So it just yeah, goes into okay. John Smith's throat. John Smith, your light leaves your eyes as this thing just rips into your throat. And with no one able to pick you up, feasts upon you. The zombie of John Smith will return. You want to know what I thought would happen when I tapped him on the shoulder? It's like, oh, there's zombies. We need to speed up and go into a building, potentially stealth out the back or something to avoid the zombies. I did not expect him to trip, get his ass handed to him, his gun explode in his hand, and then kill. <laughs> that is like the All worst. All of this stemmed from your terrible decision. You ruined my good stealth check. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Anyways, Michael, feel free to make your back up while, um... Fuck you! Fuck I'm all of you! I'm sorry, yeah. buddy. The dice were against Stop you. laughing, alright? Uh... 
This is not what I needed after today. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> That's why I told everybody to have a backup ready. Um, you, you told me not to make a backup! I gave everybody a backup sheet and told them to have a backup ready! No, I asked you, should I start making my backup like, like last week? And you were like, no, not yet, you're fine. I don't remember saying that, but if I did, I apologize. I had, I did give everybody a backup sheet to start making backups. Oh, uh, motherfucker, I can't. Uh, I'm gonna go pee. You go for it, Michael. Sorry. J Jay, fuck you, you asshole. I'm sorry. No, no apology. None. You did this to me. Well, you killed my character. To be fair, Michael, you failed your con save. You were going to turn into a runner in three days. Of course I fucking was. <laughs> Hope, well, I was hoping I could get to the CDC and get medical attention, but no. <laughs> Actually, that would have worked, yes. <laughs> yeah, no. I See, I was fine. I was like, doesn't matter. If I get to the Think CDC, it's fine. It this way, Michael. I'm going to get to the CDC, and I'm most likely going to get shot immediately. <laughs> Can I be a fucking government agent working at the CDC, ready to fucking shoot anyone who comes near? Just use the- dude, be the guy that has the minigun. <laughs> I want the minigun! Okay, I want the minigun, and I want to mow his ass down! I'll tell you what, Michael, you can be a CDC guard, and if he fails his way of making it in, I'll let you shoot him. Done! <laughs> I want all the weapon proficiency. I want to basically be a mini fell. <laughs> I want to be fell, but with a range. No, no, no. Here's what I want. I want to be a midget. So I want to be a little fell, but who's like, instead of melee, is just walking around with a goddamn grenade launcher ready to blow up a motherfucker who is apparently an inconsiderate little bitch. Okay. <laughs> well, that's okay, it. We're going to switch over to the much. CDC lab, guys. Can we actually take like a 10 minute break so I can go pee? No, you can go, Michael. Go right. This is for the CDC lab. Uh, but we, I can, we, uh, we'll break it if you want to be listening in. That's fine. Okay, we'll take a break then. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good. I gotta finish my lunch dinner anyway, so. Yeah, go for it, Michael. I will be back. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, I, I mean, Jay, I did not expect you to have two characters down in three sessions. I didn't expect the dice to treat him that horribly. <laughs> I can't believe I rolled three tens in a row for the initiative. It is both that one bad decision and the fact he rolled every, he failed every check that mattered. Yeah. Like, realistically, uh, I felt we could probably, I don't know, go into a building, stealth away out the back, find some way out of it, and then him failing every single roll that mattered. Heath. Uh, quick question. The dice For the end, the end boss, can it be John Smith? But since he fell, like, since he died, like, in a room full of chemicals, can he just come back as the tank from Left 4 Dead or something? No. no. <laughs> I'll He's consider that. <laughs> <laughs> there actually are rules for building zombies with, like, chemical spewing effects. Yeah. No, no, I want the tank from Left 4 Dead, like... No, oh, that's also a build. That's sponge. also a build. Oh, really? They have that as a build you can create as tank zombies. Nice. <laughs> oh god. It's full on Left 4 Dead's gameplay. It'd be great. Are you still laughing at me? No, no but I am laughing how I'm gonna we're gonna try to kill your zombie. We're trying to make I'm trying to convince Heath to make you a tank zombie. I fuck it you if that happens, you give me that character sheet and I will fucking specifically go after Jay. <laughs> this this former semblance of uh, John Smith's life. Just Flickers in his eyes as soon as he sees Noah. <laughs> and then all hell will pay. Fuck, I had a really cool backstory for him, too. <laughs> Michael, it is both my fault and the dice just didn't treat you well. It's mainly you. None of this no, would have happened no, if it was okay. not for you. No, you can't blame that all on me. It is half no. me, half the all guy. Literally, if you had not done that, I would have snuck away and have been fine. <laughs> And you would have left me for dead, and this would have been the same situation, but me oh, absolutely. Michael. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I would we... not hesitate to leave you. To I fair, know, Jay, you Jay, did that earlier fair. with the rest of the group, didn't to you? Be, to be fair, Jay, Michael wouldn't have fucked you over to do it. Yeah, I could have shot you in the leg and been done with it. 
That I was like, no, helped. that's creepy. <laughs> you also would have, like, shot and attracted all 100 zombies. <laughs> or I could have used my broomer mop to trip him up. Yeah. Legit, if I have cowardly, I totally could have helped you. Legitimately. <laughs> anyway, I don't it's, care. It's a zombie you apocalypse, guys. Pay. People die. It's part you of the game. Pay. I will murder you and your entire family in this game. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm I'm fully expecting Han to just die, even though I built him to be a much more combative uh, type of character. Oh, Christ almighty. Now I have to relearn how to do all this shit. All right. You got I'm back, by the way. Hey, everybody ready? Uh, God damn it. All right. Uh, yeah, just uh, what's the... Uh, how many... Fuck. I don't remember how to do any of this shit. It's... You get uh, 10... Skills, I think. Uh, I mean, ten. Qu um, no. I remember you get tr thirty like skill points. Uh, twenty. Yeah, thirty. Two, four, five, seven, nine. You get thirty skill seven, points, six, and you get yeah, ten uh, points. And you get about uh, ten drawbacks. Oh, hey, I'm missing a point. And then we get like five things to spend on uh, qualities. Five points. Yeah. Cool! I'm gonna... This is gonna be fun. Give me a... <sighs> Give me some time. Heath, I'm going to be making the Gunzerker. I want access to all the firearms. Just... Give yourself... Yeah, you start building your character, Michael, as the rest of the party continues on. But yeah, you can get going on that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of my uh, skill and rifles because... Uh, police... Do police officers really use rifles? I don't think they do. They mostly use... I mean, they mostly. Does. Yeah, I'm more of just a general officer of the police, so maybe a shotgun at best. Well, yeah, definitely so would have a shotgun, because there's always a shotgun yeah. in the trunk kind of thing. Anyways, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. D d don't worry about it at the moment. So, you guys are now at the CDC. Okay. Uh, Caleb, you guys are in a room right now. To catch you up, Caleb, uh, what happened is you guys entered the CDC. Uh, unfortunately, your cop failed his persuasion check to let them treat you kindly and instead shoved you in a room. Where they are uh, checking everyone's backgrounds. Joy. Uh, because, you know, racist psychopaths have taken over the uh, police stations and gangs are running around fucking up the town. So they're making yeah. sure, you know, people are who they say they are. Makes sense. Uh, they say they haven't killed us. They have not. Yet. Uh, they have you at arms, <laughs> like. Uh, Luckily, oh, okay. nobody in this group uh, has a beef with the military. <laughs> well, at least rub, it in. rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> to be fair, Michael, that was going to be a problem when you got there. <laughs> oh, no, see, that's why I was going to try to, like, sneak in. Like, that's why I have a fake ID. Like, that's the whole reason we had a fake identity set up. Oh, I know, but you also had a three in being the most na national most wanted. <laughs> I had a full five. <laughs> or full five, yeah. yeah well, so uh, that one one fake identity isn't going to give you a full, like, oh, we could just avoid the military in a time of crisis. No, I know, but I was like, <laughs> in this situation, I know that I had to, I was like, I was prepared to have to, like, break into, hack into their computers, get rid of any evidence I was there, and then leave before the military gets here, so that way I can pass myself off as a civilian. Hopefully they miss me, and then I can just drive into the countryside. Yeah, you could have possibly done it, but it took a lot of checks. <laughs> Listen, could have totally helped you do that because that's kind of his thing. I know. I was so excited. You're like, "Fuck the bummer. I'm like, "Yes, someone gets it," and you fucking let, betrayed me. <laughs> to be fair, you would have done the same to him. In any case, guys, guys, that's enough. Let's get back to the game, please. Jordan, what the hell enough. are you doing? <laughs> I, mid, midway through drawing this, I realized that I he didn't set that on simplicity. <laughs> I'm too scared to stop now. <laughs> okay. Any case, he's making he's making eighties uh, album art. In, in any case, guys, you bar you guys are in the CDC. Uh, the it's been about oh I'm gonna say it's been about several hours since you've been in your room it, locked in this room. As you guys all look about with each other, could you please stop? It's really hard to see what's happening, Jordan. <laughs> yep. He's almost done. <laughs> okay. On. So as you guys, oh yeah, because oh, yeah, he because uh, because he's not in the room. Yeah, you I guys aren't in the it. room. It's yeah. uh, It's gone now anyway. For for the sake of giving you guys some visuals, I'll let you see through Spike's eyes. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, oh wait, no, 
Sorry. You, you uh, should be able to see. Yeah. I can't see shit. Uh. So anyway, so you guys look about. There you go, Michael. Can you see now? Uh, give me a second. Nope. No. Oh wait, second. there it is. Okay, yeah, you might just be have to find the right room. And I'll yeah, give okay. you two as well. Uh, I'll, I'll give you Teddy to look through the eyes of. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna be spending a little while making my character now. Yep. Yeah, no worries. So anyway, since you guys are in the CDC looking about, you see, you look around at Teddy and Spike, and they're like. Uh, I think, well, at least we're in the CDC, right, guys? We're, we're doing okay, so we'll be fine, I'm sure. Just, we Love play better ball. than uh, outside. Yeah, I mean, no zombies in here, right? We got nothing well, to as far as, we know. as far as we know, yes, hopefully. Although, uh, last couple have weeks have kind of taught me to never trust anybody again. At least when it comes to... Uh, Making sure that they won't bite me later. I mean, that's fair. But in any case, we're, we're going to be okay, I think. Uh, we're, we're all fine, right? I mean, Sal is good, and Freddy's good, and you're, you guys are cops, right? You don't got no, like, criminal activity cops, right? You're not, like, that kind of cop. Um... Maybe in my olden, uh, maybe in my younger years, but uh, I've cut ties. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't. Have, I don't have any contacts anymore. Like even, even if they asked me to, I couldn't. Okay. Okay. What about you, kid? Uh. Oh, wait. No. Wrong voice. Wrong voice. <laughs> Euro emerges and gets raped. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! What? Kayla's been smoking too many cigarettes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I bonus action raged once and destroyed the small country. God. Oh, that's what you said. I was really shocked for a second there, Andy. Oh, I didn't read. I heard something with P. Okay, that's a lot better than what I. Anyway. Oh. What? What? Uh, what? I don't know. I misheard that deeply, and I was very confused. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I just thought um, I just said that uh, Caleb just turned into Euro. <laughs> yeah. And just rages. I okay. My bad. I'm yeah, it's right. now. Uh. Caleb shrugs and says, "Odd and major, you know. I mean, I was I'm in and out of the foster system, but I don't." I think that's reason for, you know, to get turned away or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're right. I mean, just, we're just, we're just a little worried. Yeah, it's just, right? It's like yeah. Spike. Don't look at me. I mean, I mean, I was part of a biker gang, but I mean, it's it's fine, right? I mean, they're not gonna yeah. worry about that kind of shit. I'm sure they're more worried about like terrorist sort of shit. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, the worst I did was just kind of turn a blind eye to drug smuggling. Yeah. So. I mean, Besides, I think they kind of need more people with, you know, expertise on how to handle weaponry of any sort. You notice a little cliff kind of look about, wandering about. Yeah, God will save us from this dark plague of existence. <laughs> yeah, frankly, um, frankly, sir, I'm pretty sure God has caused this. It's kind of like a rapture situation, no in the Lost Ark. Or whatever. No in the Ark. Yeah, I don't know. Excuse me, sorry. And what about uh, you, uh... Fell? <laughs> there is an unconscious person there. Are you fucking knocked out? <laughs> I'm, like... I am barely standing at this point, so yeah. <laughs> Is he like bleeding it out or something? No, but uh, let me put it this way: this is probably the closest Fell has ever been to dying. <laughs> so he ah, fell down to 12 I... HP. Yep. Uh, all right. Um, 
Is there any, like any uh, first aid kits in here or something? Uh, like, where, what the hell, what the heck are we in actually? You're basically just in a holding room. Like, it's not even a room. You're you're basically in a medical area. This place wasn't built to have prisons. They just right. kind of locked you up in a medical room and put guards on you with these two soldiers here. Can I see if there's, like, a first aid kit or something? I mean, you could kind of, take, suppose, take a peek around if you'd like. Yeah, because uh, I'm starting to worry that uh, if Fell kind of fell down and died, uh... I would have to face off against him later in a different type of manner. I we mean, don't really want to. to be fair, this probably wasn't uh, Fel turning into a zombie. This was probably uh, Fel just arrived here uh, running, almost half dead, and now his body just went, mm, congratulations, you just won a nap. And <laughs> Fel went, no. And your yeah. body, his body was like, yeah, but did I stutter? Yeah, no, uh, the Emperor has graced you with the eternal sleep, Fel. <laughs> Fel took nappy times. Sure. Well, best is probably not to wake him up. Uh, so you guys look at the two guards with their uh, rifles looking over at you. goes, hmm. what the f- So you got your old survivors out there, eh? Bit crazy, eh? Uh, a couple of are some of us. Bit more sane than eh, just as sane as anybody else out here in this situation. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. We'll sure you'll be fine. We just have to obviously make sure everybody's right, and uh, hopefully, we got enough. Problem is, we've got quite a few refugees in here now. We, uh, don't worry, uh, as somebody that's was in an operation with the police that, uh, Tried to take people in, let's just say it did not go well at all. So, I understand the uh, need for checks and balances. Yeah, fair enough. You seem like a officer of the law sort of thing, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Hopefully. Uh, does your big friend need some medical attention? Uh, I would, uh, it'd probably be best... I've seen this guy running around smashing zombies' heads in with nothing but a pipe. This guy's a fucking monster. No, I mean, not nothing but just his bare hands and feet. Yeah. I haven't yeah. had a, a weapon in your, in your character's, like, uh... Entire run. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. He's been It'd killing. probably be best to... Let's just say, uh, he's the kind of guy you want if you're fighting hordes. Fair enough. Cliff. Uh, no, not that cliff. This cliff. Uh, go get, go get a doc. <laughs> eh, I'll go get. No, not you. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, few minutes it's passed. Just an abundance of cliffs. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's just a red dog that just walks in. Hey, it's Cliff again. <laughs> Alright, how does the, uh... Dr. Cliff here. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Quick question. Quick question. How does the drawback, uh... Like, how do the points work? The drawback points? Like, you get... You can pick up to, like, ten, and then... It's... So, say if I wanted a two in strength, I could put one... One drawback point there, and then... No, that's the, uh, qualities and drawbacks. So, basically, uh... You get, I think, ten qualities, but then... For every quality you want after that, you have to put a point to... Drawbacks. Are I you think talking the limit about how to increase your stats, Michael? Because you have to put in one more point to increase it than what the point is. So if you want to increase it to a five, you need six. You need to increase it to a three, you need four. Okay, I think I see. And so... Okay. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, a doctor walks in and walks over to Phil's like, I heard a, someone here was injured. Uh... The guy with the, uh... What? Is Fel still wearing, like, a mask and everything? Yes. Provided that no one essentially commanded him to take it off, yes. Hmm. Uh, it's the guy with the mask over there. Very well. I... Uh... He... I will say, it's probably best to wake him up beforehand and tell them uh, the Emperor has 
ask that you be uh, restored. Just, 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 I know it's, that sounds stupid and crazy, but trust yes, me. Yes, it does. Just, please. Do I, I need I, to I, restrain him? I, I think he will. That, that's, that's a yes, Mike. <laughs> you know what? Here, <laughs> hold on. Yet. One second. Uh, Han's going to go up to Phil and just kind of lightly tap him with the, his boot and says, uh, what rank was, did Phil say what rank he was? Ah, <laughs> rank and Krieg. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's a pretty oh, good fucking good. joke there, Andy. No, I don't no, know. No. I don't know. Wake up, so. have always considered himself the ultimate rank, called cannon fodder. <laughs> Wake up, cannon fodder. Uh, the Emperor has asked you to be restored. This, uh... I look inquisitive, inquis like... I, I look like a deer in the... like... E even without the mask, you, you kind of notice that I have no idea what you're on about. Me neither, so... Uh, this, uh... This man is gonna make you stronger. So, behave, alright? I behave. Good. Alright, and I'm, I'm gonna try to help Fell onto one of the beds or something. Okay, so you help put on the Fell, uh, on the bed, and, uh, he, the doctor will help patching you up. Uh, just one second as I double check what the medical role is for that. I think it's just medicine, which is intelligence? I'm just referring to how many hit points he gets back. Oh, uh, two, I think. No, no, that's for your healing. Um, I actually do not know. That's why I'm double checking. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, fast reaction hard. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong section. These are. This is books too damn big. Uh, so. Sorry, Michael. Nah, I got it. <laughs> I'll just say you get 8 HP back. That seems fair. So you're, okay. As he patches you up. But as he patches you up and starts looking over your body, he goes, Wait a minute, this man has been bit. Uh. So, okay, so uh, Han, Han did not know. Genuinely did not know that Fel got bit, so he just kind of just kind of stare at him. Hell, Phil, Phil, uh, Phil probably got that several times over. Yeah. Uh, Phil is more gonna... injured than man. <laughs> Quick, man, tie him down! As you see, two of the guards grab Phil and just uh, put restraints on him. No, I don't resist. <laughs> the Emperor so, will make you stronger. Just let it happen. He looks over at the it, rest not, of you. It, it, it's not even that. Not, it's just these people are points of authority, and as a good Krieg guardsman, <laughs> I well, well, he, he, The thing is, that doctor might have went, shoot that one in the face, and Fel would have gone like, fair enough. <laughs> um, he looks over at the rest, he's like, okay, this is changing everything. We're gonna have to search each, we're gonna check each and every one of you. Alright. Uh, he grabs one by one as he searches. I believe Fell was the only one in the group who's been bit. Caleb, you never got bit. you just been hit, right? I thought I was, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. No, I don't think you got bit. What's your? What was your maximum life points? Uh, My maximum is... Uh, she, my maximum is 22, and I've been as low as 12, I think. I'm pretty sure that, uh, and boy, we're working on Jordan memory here, but I'm pretty sure Caleb was bit during one of the uh, forays into the supermarket, I think. No, I think that was, wasn't that John Smith? Was John yeah. Smith was bit that Someone time. Someone got bit there. Yeah, yeah. Caleb's never been bit, bit, actually. I recall that. Okay. Caleb never got bit. Okay. Neat. Oh, useful for me, I guess. 
uh, so they look over at Caleb and like, hey, she's, uh, the kid's clean. Uh, you've never been bit either as uh, your new character, right, Andy? No, I've just been scratched pretty bad. Yeah, they look over you two. It's like, okay, it just seems like the crazy one with the mask has been bit. That's bad, though. We're going to have to do... Good question. Are they, like, stripping everyone down in front of everyone else? or like... they, they take you to the side and strip you. They have decency. Well, I mean, it is a medical facility first. <laughs> uh, the, the doctor, basically, with a guard to keep watch, strips each of you one by one, and then when he makes sure you have no bites, lets you get your clothes back on. Okay. The reason they found Fell's bite is, like he said, he's literally covered in them, and they're treating his ga gaping wounds. <laughs> right? But for everybody, including all your others, they have checked each and every one of you for bites. You can ask questions about that if you wish. <laughs> Questioning authority? That seems like some heresy. I know Fel wouldn't. <laughs> I was just going to kind of scowl, go along with it, and says, Look, uh... He's been bit more times than anyone else, than our other friend, but he hasn't turned on a couple of the other of our people. So, see the... Bites don't quite work like that, the doctor says, they kind of adjust his glasses. Sometimes the body can resist the infection, but other times it takes over. And even if it does, it takes several days for it to occur. When was the last time your friend was bit? Uh, on our way here, so... Hours. Couple hours ago, give or take. We'll have to do a medical scan search of him. We have discovered a few people that bite. There are symbolizations of the virus in their cell active. It's odd. Everyone seems to actually have this virus in them at the moment, but those bit sometimes have what we're referring to as active. Active virus cells. Hmm. When they're activated, it slowly takes over the body and turns into what, for lack of a better term, we're calling runners at the moment. We have worked out a way to stop a bite from taking a person over, but it's not a guarantee success rate, and honestly, it's still experimental. But... How long have... Sorry. Uh, just curious. You guys already have a treatment for it? How long, how long have you guys known about this? A few weeks. Only a week before it all occurred, we had some inkling from Europe about this. Damn. Okay. Shit. Like we said, it's not a treatment or a cure. It's literally just a way to stop the spread of the active Oh, virus. okay. It, it, okay. it probably is something as primitive as pouring disinfected and praying to the god emperor. Yeah, Pretty close. better just can off the land. Yeah, they're basically... Basically, you're going through, like, an acid bath treatment for your blood. <laughs> Neat. I will volunteer as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look you over, Phil. Phil, you are not infected. The, uh, the <laughs> cells are not active in you. So they look over, Phil goes, well, it seems like this one got lucky and the infection didn't take place. He has no active versions of the virus. The Emperor protects. <laughs> Your ridiculous con modifier protects as well. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor protects, yes, but so does cover, and I have chosen to give the Emperor a break today. <laughs> as they... <laughs> now, I guess the big question is, what are we going to do with you? We've ran through our research, and none of you seem to be uh, in any of our databases, so that makes you clean for the moment. I volunteer uh, as a uh, recruit for the most dangerous task you have. Great. Um, I'm Dr. Phil, by the way. <laughs> hey, Dr. Phil. <laughs> uh, but... <Sorry>. I, to... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. 
but the Oh no, that was Dr. Nick. Shit. Shit. You're taking Dr. Nick, yeah. Yeah, fuck Hi, me. everybody. <laughs> now I'm just now I'm just sad. <laughs> but what about but what about Dr. Cliff and Security Cliff? <laughs> what about Dr. Clock? We have Dr. Claw on this. Uh, in any case, <laughs> uh, the doctor looks at each. He's like, in any case, we're going to be, we're short on resources at the moment, unfortunately. Food and wa water we're okay on, but food we're starting to run short on, especially with the increase of further people to feed. Fair enough. Um, well, if you're looking for anybody that's, uh, you need a firearm, I'm firearm. Uh, somebody that's uh, proficient in firearms. Uh, I guess I can always help out if need be. Hmm. Not a bad Kill idea. Him oh, sorry. Kill him now since, um, can me fit it out with a rifle. Could help out too. The doctor looks at the 13 year old child <laughs> and scowls. <laughs> I thought Caleb was 15. Or 15. Caleb is Caleb is what? Fifteen, yeah. Fifteen. Anyways, I mean, to be fair, to, he, to be fair, I started shooting guns when I was six. Yes, so. but not in a military installment. Fair. <laughs> uh, doctor uh, Phil kind of looks, and he's a doctor, not a soldier. Fair <laughs> yeah. enough. Uh, looks over at Caleb and is like, I suppose everyone here, I suppose, would be useful to know if they can handle a firearm if the worst case scenario breaks out. Oh, uh, what about your large friend over there as he points at Fell? Does he have any sort of military training we should be aware of? Uh, okay, so you know how I was talking crazy to him? Well, I think he might have some kind of a hallucinogenic disorder. He thinks that he's a soldier from space, as far as I can tell. I and, see. But despite all that, he can smash a zombie's head in pretty damn cleanly. He looks over at the crazy man next to the other crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> This is a situation I wasn't hoping us to be in, but I suppose times are hard. And people will need to pull weight. Your friend Fell, I suppose, could be used constructively. But what about the rest of you? Do any of you offer any sort of... Uh, help in this situation we find ourselves in. I mean, Han does already say his thing, so. Uh, okay, Caleb's just going to start kind of counting off on their hands uh, and saying, okay, I'm pretty good with uh, picking locks if you need to get into anything. I'm pretty good at moving quietly, keeping my eyes open. I can make a few traps sometimes. Uh, first aid, and okay with I see. You've had I an have interesting been childhood. The, I, <laughs> I have been half the reason why this party is still alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and I, I'm also, um, it's rough Spanish, but I can sort of speak it. Oh, fantastic. It's It'll be great when the zombie Mexicans invade. <laughs> you never know what Hey, I'm just saying, there might be some refugees that need uh, that need to be uh, translated for. I'm just saying. Possibly, yeah. though. At this point, this I is don't New think we're going to find too many refugees in the moment. I mean, it is New York, so you never you know. Translating Spanish very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody here has seen King of the Hill, but it reminds me of the scene where Peggy tries to speak to the court in Spanish, and basically, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah that episode. Yeah. <laughs> Or I, he's like trying to explain that they're a, a, a capable, loving doctor, but basically say that they're a donkey on a high horse. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
And the lawyer's just like, oh, she doesn't know Spanish because she accidentally kidnapped a, ch a Spanish child because she didn't know the Spanish child was saying, hey, my mom is over there. <laughs> uh, but in any case, so you guys are put in that interesting scenario. Goes, well, for the next few days, we'll have you here. Try to heal up your wounds and we'll see where life goes. For the time being, you're all welcome. Uh, but uh, get some rest. Deeply appreciated. Uh, you guys wouldn't have to have any... Uh... I'm not bleeding out or anything, but is there anything to close, like... Like, do you have, like, any... Uh... Uh, what's the word for... Uh... for stitch it. It does. Yeah, just, I, I just need to stitch up some wounds. Well, we can stitch you up as well, then... They spend the day and you get eight life points back. Basically, anybody can get the treatment for eight life points today. Huzzah! I'm at 36. That includes you, eight. Caleb. <laughs> eight. Oh, what the fuck is my age? You know, it's so nice being alive in the CDC, not being attacked by zombies. Thank you, B. I'm alive. I like being alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> we just we just turn around. We just see this like this really short uh, soldier, <laughs> basically a gnome. <laughs> Fuck you. Also, I love you too, Michael. I love you. <laughs> uh, Heath, I'm almost done with my character. Give me a second. And I'm going to immediately shoot Han. <laughs> Speaking of Hans, uh, back to him. So. As uh, you, Noah, are moving through the streets, uh, leaving your friend to die, but leaving your newfound companion stuck in a closet. Doing it solo for a few weeks. What's a few more days? <laughs> As you start wandering back toward, are, where are you going, actually? CDC. I didn't know if that still. was still on your plan. <laughs> Legit, he pointed out something like, yeah, yeah, at this rate, with that shit happening, he, it's probably his best best bet to go there and potentially get shot. Okay, so uh, you still got your previous stealth check. Are you doing anything else as you are making it through the streets? Are you going at full nope, speed? Nope. Just like the same steady speed, like a speed in which I can keep my stealth and get there at a decent pace. Okay, so you're still uh, going to be about a half day out because you took the half speed before. Yep, so. So I'm going to need you to, no to grow me a notice check to see if you can find a place to to, to find uh, shelter from the zombie horde for the night. Nope. Nope. Okay. You are unable to find any place that's open or unlocked that has any sort of reasonable fortifications out in this night. Okay. All right. All right, Heath, I'm good. I just need you to tell me what kind of equipment I can get. Uh, I will give you the list of what these soldiers have. How about that? Is it heavy weapons guy? Uh, I'll just, I'm just giving you the basic soldier. I made soldier list, so I will show you. I will share the sheet with you to, for their equipment purposes. Your equipment would consist of an assault rifle with a, a 7.62 millimeter and a combat knife for your uh, weapon, and you also have Can class I one armor. Could I? Could I ask for an axe instead of a knife? Why the hell would you have an a fair whatever? Fine. It's, 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 <laughs> there is actually the military. You actually can't get a military. Uh, yeah, they have the little mat, the combat shovel hatchet. I know there's the shovel hatchet. Yeah, the the, sho the shovel, uh, the marker gardener. There's yeah, there's the shovel, the shovel axe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. how many? I need you to. I'm gonna need help with the weapons. I mean, I'll get to you in a minute, Michael. Okay. Uh, there's also a page for that in the book. Yeah, you, Where, you would go to page. weapons in the book to find that, dude. Give me a second. Let me look, yeah, look at the glossary. Yeah, that's like, all that stuff's in the book. I told you which guns you have and weapons, so that you, you should be able to fill the info from the book. Uh, it doesn't tell me specifically what weapons are. Ah! It's equipment, Michael. There. All right. So, Thank you. how fucked am I now finding a place to sleep? Uh, you're, you didn't roll a critical failure, and basically you're going to have to sleep in the open street. 
that or just go on through the entire night and push yourself super hard to get to the CDC as quick as possible. This guy's a fucking conspiracy theorist. Sleep is for the week. I'll just push it. Okay. Uh, so, just roll me a straight difficult con check. Fuck. My one weakness. Constitution. Oof. Roll again. Okay, so you roll the three. <laughs> yep. Supper. <laughs> um, My God. That's bad. <laughs> so uh, does this mean I pass out in the middle of the street? Well, one moment. Uh, you are going to take some in some heavy endurance damage here. Boy, I have thirteen. I have eighteen endurance. Oh boy. Uh, I just have to check what for the heavy is again, because uh, that uh, the check was to see if you take light or heavy, and you critically failed, so it's a heavy, it's it's a heavy check. Uh, what happens at zero endurance? You pass out. All right. Um. Yeah, it's not a good thing to have. It's literally how you knock. It's basically how you subdue people without killing them in this game. Like, you can attack okay. endurance points if you want to knock someone out. I was gonna say, why weren't we told about this? But then I realized, oh yeah, we're fighting zombies. Yeah, they don't really yes. have endurance points. <laughs> Nor do we want yes, to sleep. Yes, I would like to sleep or hold this zombie until it goes to sleep. <laughs> hey, now, you joke about that, but one of my dwarves in Dwarven Fortress legitimately tried choking a vampire for two days straight. <laughs> That's Dwarf Fortress, though. <laughs> Why are you trying to be apply Dwarf Fortress to a fucking game that has semi-realistic logic? Bullshit. I was able to build <laughs> Fel, my guy. Yeah, I was about to say. Realistically, someone like Fel could exist. That's why he said semi-realistic. <laughs> I was about to say. Semi-realistic. Is it in the appendix? There is Michael, no previous section called weapons, dude. It's implements of destruction. No, what page is it on? I can't find the page. It says it in the front of the book. No, it doesn't. All it says is the chapters. There should be a page number next to the chapter. Hold up, Michael. If you're looking for just the damage and range, give me a minute. Yeah, because I'm looking at a table of contents of this chapter one, rise, dead, chapter two, spiders, every type, shambling 101. Implements of destruction. That's probably where it's at. Yeah, that's yeah. literally where it's at. <laughs> you guys said equipment. I was looking for equipment. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um, your endurance damage is... Uh, one sec. Do, do, do fear, table, table, contest. Do, 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 do. Explosive weapons. Caps, base, modified table. I'm gonna say... 6d4. Oh. Because you pushed yourself super hard. You haven't been eating. 6d4? N no, that's not... I'm trying to fucking... Oh, wait, one sec. Here, here's the rule. There we go. Hard work. 2d4 per minute. <laughs> Jesus, okay. We're not going to go that crazy because you're definitely passing out. Uh... So I'm going to say, yeah, 6d4, so 3, 11 endurance points gone. I'm not fucking out, I'm at 7 endurance. Okay, so you are basically on the verge of near passed out. Alright. You push yourself hard. Uh... And as you kind of get about, ooh, another just a bit, uh, you make it a little closer to the base. Roll me one more con check. Because you just kind of, ugh, kind of pushing forward. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Can I try and find somebody to sleep? Sure, you can roll me a notice check at minus two because you're exhausted. Yep, so take away two from that, which is nine. Okay. Uh, you do find a place to kind of camp out just barely. You, you find what looks to be kind of what looks to be like, uh, 
uh, uh, similar to where you left your friend like a little uh, shed for putting away uh, various uh, cleaning utensils. Yep. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna close the door, and I'm gonna sleep against it so it can open. <laughs> okay. Sleep. So you push it against it, you sleep, you regain... Actually, you don't have any food or water. Nope. Roll me another D4. One. You lose another one endurance point. All right. Uh, but you do get your sleep in and you wake up. Uh, you are just... I can really... I can really... You should be able to get to the CDC within the next cu hour. You're going to have to make a new stealth check, though, as you wander out through the day with a minus two due to your low endurance. Oh, boy. Twelve. Okay, you are fine as you stealth way through the streets and you make it to the CDC. Can I shoot him now? Hold on, Michael. Okay. Michael, I'm going to tell you right now. You're not going to... You can't just deliberately immediately shoot me, dude. Yeah, you, you just can't... I know. I know. I'm kidding. I am joking. <laughs> I'm sorry your character died, but Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> that, that man. You're not even the first one to die, Michael. Three people I, have died. <laughs> yeah. I, guys, guys, I've been joking. I'm I know. cool with it. <laughs> um, so you make it to the CDC. There you get, you hear, a who's there? As you see, like a line of gar of soldiers with uh, AKs pointed at you. Immediately, like just put my stuff on the ground and put my hands up and kneel on the ground. It's like, I, I, I. Someone told me that like there might be people here. I came here. I'm. Please don't shoot me. Please, please. I just want to come in and be safe. I've been wandering around for weeks, man. I'm All scared. Right. The only thing I need left, Heath, is my like to get my weapon stuff trained up. Other than that, I'm good to go. I haven't been bit. I haven't been touched. Yeah, you're fine with your weapons. By the way, the two-handed thing, Michael, means that you can add an extra D, or the, the plus one is when you use two hands, right? Yeah, so axe two-handed. Yeah, you get a, so your it would be your strength plus one for the multiplier. Okay, so that, and then for multiply for the assault rifle is five. Okay, and then, and then rate, of fire for the, rate of fire for the assault rifle is what? I mean, don't worry about the rate of fire. Just put in your your ranges, which is 10, 50. I'll put the range in for you. Don't worry. Thank you. Because I, I can copy the sheet I have. Yeah, Michael, geez, I got to put it in for you. That means you can't oh, flip it. Oh, sorry. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I keep thinking that you can we can move independently of each other no we cannot okay so you got you make it towards it for the shits and giggles of it you also notice this big fat meaty bastard with his giant assault rifle michael you're gonna introduce your characters you're one of the guards <laughs> you see a you see a very you see a bold shape I... oh, big, big, big jawline like and here to to save on introductions, Heath, would you mind putting my token and showing everyone? Did you? I hate it. I hate. <laughs> did you actually? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Michael. I am so fucking proud of you right now. <laughs> Thank you. So Who dares approach CDC headquarters? Again, kneeling on the ground, hands in the air, is basically just fucking having a mental breakdown. It's like, I just, I heard somebody say that there might be people here. Yo, I Michael, Michael, does he remind, maybe Noah just like, kind of reminds you of uh, the medic. Stop. Yes. No, no. He reminds me of Scout. Anyway. <laughs> right. Little baby man, get up. Very slowly gets up. Hands go in the air. 
See one of the other soldiers standing next to him and goes, My god, these fucking exchange these exchange soldiers from across the seas are a pain in the ass. Any case hey, <laughs> I was born on US military base in Russia. Do not dare question my heritage. Okay. Little heavy. baby man. <laughs> Come forward. Makes steps about an inch forward. Forward. Another inch. Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Immediately just fucking moves about about two feet close. <laughs> what? What? Were, hey, Heath. What were my orders in terms of like civilians? Do I just let them in? Uh, civilians have to be taken to a detainment center to be background checked. You. Move to side of building now. I quickly scurry back, pick up my stuff, and scurry to the side of the building. Uh, uh Heath. So you said that it's been two days uh, since, uh, well, uh, Noah's been running. Would that mean that we get to re yeah, rest? Yeah, you guys up? all have two days worth of rest. So. so I'm back to full health. Nice. Yeah. So everybody can increase their endurance and their health by two days. And I think how much? What's endurance? How how much? How do you calculate endurance uh, uh, retrieved? Your endurance retrieved is your, uh, I believe, it's your con plus. Yeah, sleep. Uh, I think it's... Oh. I yeah, think power. One plus. It's one per constitution level, for half hour of sleep. So you basically okay. have full if you've you've slept for you've had two days. All right. Uh, how did I calculate? Cool. Thank you. I just gotta figure out how much had I calculated my con. Sorry, what were you asking there, Laura? Was willpower involved with it or not? Oh, for, uh, endurance? No. It's just a constitution. Ba basically, you got- it, 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 what's- what's your con modifier, Laura? Uh, my con modifier is three. So you would get 24 a day for an eight hour sleep. So you'll be at full, you'll be at, you'll be back to normal endurance. Five, nine. Uh, I just need to look up the calculate endurance because I don't remember my base endurance if it, don't mind. Oh yeah, no worries. Uh, you get two health per day, right? I believe that's it, yep. Okay. Uh, so let's see, so that's nine times three, so that's twenty-seven. It's so thirty-two, okay. Yeah, okay, there's the day. there's that rule I was looking for. Okay, just for future referencing, guys, I did notice that it's LP5. It's not a quarter of your health, but if you get to LP5, then you take a one to five minus penalty due to the pain and shock of your body. Uh, Fair. Okay. And with endurance, if you get the five as well, you get a minus two to everything. So, moving forward, those are the officials. I just found those rules finally. In any case, no worries. Uh, so as you guys keep moving forward, uh, you guys have now been in the town, wandering around the CD for a couple of days now. Uh, you have noticed, though, as they point out, food has been scarce in the area. Uh, but as you guys walk around, you do see this large man you've seen around before uh, carrying this scrawny little nerdy man in glasses through the uh, building. I have a question. Yes. I have photographic memory. I don't know how don't, like how much I can get out of this, but I recognize anybody in the room at all. I mean, you haven't, you haven't met anybody, have you? I don't know. I meant just like being around New York. I don't know. I mean, Look, you might recognize dumb questions. Okay. You're, 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 you might recognize faces, but given your background, your personality, and your character, probably wouldn't fucking know anybody. Yep. Yeah. Liam, Liam, um, having a photographic memory I'm doesn't mean you that you can dumb question mechanic wise. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm aware. Totally <laughs> I, I just want to say that having a photographic memory isn't like, oh yes, I scroll through all of my life's memories. I would like to know if I've like 
encountered this person 15 years ago on the street. It's more of a, okay, I concentrate on this and I memorize it <laughs> This concludes my pet talk. So I'm dragging little baby man to quarantine. Uh, Han is just gonna give him a salute. As he passes. Uh, would we get our stuff back as, uh, no, if we're cleared? Fine. Yeah, you would've got your stuff back if you were cleared. Sounds good. I have my pistol, my two trusted clips, and a baton. Noah is still crying. <laughs> oh. Uh, at curiosity, Kale, what have you been doing in the two days you've been in the CDC? Uh... Honestly, probably vibing. Um, just vibing. Just vibing. Right. Just straight vibing. Um, well, there was a break room with a piano and a pool table to your left of you. Uh, at some point, I probably start uh, out of boredom, just start like playing with the pool balls, but not actually using the pool stick and just knocking the balls into each other to see how fast I can get them going with my hands. And at one point, my finger smashes between two of the balls, and I swear a lot. <laughs> Slightly, you know, it thing sounds, that actually happened. I was about to say, this sounds like something you experienced, Laura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone? I have found me a nice corner and occupied it for the two days. We okay. call that the fell corner. It's mine now. <laughs> yeah, don't go near just like, don't touch the crazy man. <laughs> and Andy, what did your character do? Uh, he is basically just uh, looking to see if there's any uh, jobs like that I need fill in for security reasons. I guess. See if there's uh, if there are any shortages on, you know, manpower, stuff like that. Sure, they help you come around for guard purposes. You, uh, I'll say you walk over to have Heavy. By the way, Michael, is that literally your character's name at this point? Just the Heavy guy. <laughs> Uh, I, I couldn't think of a better one for the moment. Give actually, me like I think a... I think the heavy actually does have a name in real uh, in the game. Let me find out. Heavy name TF2. I... His name is his name is Misha, or Mikhail. Misha. Mik so Mikhail Mikhail is just Russian Michael, which is kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's literally just the Russian word for Michael. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is great. <laughs> uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, sorry if I... I'm not really good with uh, names. Sorry if I just call you Mike. You will call me Misha. Sounds good. Uh, no. You know what? I'm not really interested in annoying uh, people with much bigger arms than me. Than my head. So, I'll take that as it is. Uh, I was wondering if you... Decision. I was wondering if there's any, uh, any way I could help out. Uh, pretty decent with a pistol and a shotgun, if need be. I will keep this in mind. Have a good day, officer. As I walk off, just dragging Noah behind me by the ankle. Alright, I guess, I guess, I guess then, uh, uh I will just say, just shrug and say, okay, I guess I'll just lounge around, I guess. Ask someone else, I am not in charge. <laughs> you already cracked off so of it. I'm uh, just like, I'm just sorry, just shrugged and didn't hear you. <laughs> Anyways, no, you are taken to the same detainment center the rest of the party was, or you see a doctor in a lab coat look, you look at you, he's like, okay, so uh, we're just gonna have to run a background check on you to make sure you're not any sort of infiltrator. Mm hmm. As well as uh, check you over, if you please go over here and strip naked. That Noah is a spy! <laughs> Just does exactly that. You get checked over for a physical to see if you have any bites. I'm assuming you're. I tired. haven't been fucking touched. I know, but they're checking you regardless. My instinct to kill you is screaming at me, but I don't raise it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks you up and down and goes, well, you seem to be unhurt, sir. That's quite miraculous to be out there and untouched like that. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, what did you do uh, before a living, before the, you know, everything broke down? Computer engineer. Oh, 
Well, that could be possibly useful. In any case, we do have to keep our research and data online. Uh, we might need you to do some other stuff with some others, but for the time being, you're more than welcome to uh, stay here and keep yourself together. Mm -hmm. that so sounds great. Well, in any case, all of you can g gather yourselves up and keep yourselves clean and we'll continue forward. Okay. And... Since you don't have a, anything that will affect you, Noah, you're okay. And we're going to do a bit of a time skip to make things interesting. Uh, Yay. So, we are going to push today 21 now. Leaving seven days left in the game. You guys have How been... How much days is that? Hmm? How much days is that? So you were at 16, then you were at 18, five. so three more, five day, three more days from your last rest. So you get three more days. Okay. Cool. Uh, as we're kind of just hanging, um, as we're just all just doing our thing, um, I'm going to ask like one of the people, do you think the zombies ever get hungry? Just like, do you think they'll just die of starvation once they realize there's no food left? No. No, I mean, you know, they were kind of living... You know, with their guts torn out and shit like that. I don't think they're, uh, you know, they give shit about not eating. Well, what about just biodegrade MP Spin? Well, because you need, uh, you need sustenance to sustain your body. I'm just wondering, like, if they're going to just start dying just because there's nothing to keep their body from uh, nutritious. Well, like, as, I don't know. As you say, this Dr. Fell looks over at you and goes, Funnily enough, we have done some research on the matter. It doesn't seem like their bodies need substance anymore in that sense. Oh, perfect. Their Very bodies... Uh, oh, this is weird. The virus almost works like a... Almost think of it like a piloting chip. The virus infects the brain and moves it about on its, of, of its, uh, against its will. But the virus itself seems to have its own self-sustaining energy source, almost like photosynthesis in a way. So what you're saying is that we can't just wait for this thing to pass over. We have to kill them all. At, At the, the very point, least, least, yes. But the worst part is I don't think that'll fix anything. You see, everybody I've come in contact with is infected by this virus. Oh, fantastic. This is, this is great. It takes all Noah's willpower not to say anything. <laughs> to be... <laughs> Conspiracy theorist here, like, it's taking all his willpower not to say shit. <laughs> I mean, you are probably one of the highest leveled uh, government's programs right now. Yep. So. Well, in yeah, any probably case, a good idea. the way we determine how this virus works is once it's it seems to be in everyone's body at the moment. We don't know how this occurred, but apparently it got airborne, traveled around the streams. And everyone caught it, apparently. But the virus seems to be dormant until the body dies. Then the virus activates by jump-starting the brain and trying to get the body to move. The odd thing, though, is it looks like the virus is actually trying to repair the body. But it seems to fail to do this, and instead makes it jolt around and spread itself. So you're saying this thing is supposed to be a healing factor? Yes, it seems like that was the original intent behind it, and it seems to have gone terribly wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you suggesting that this thing is man-made? Like a medically man-made thing? <laughs> Honestly, it has to be. Oh. You know what? I'm not even surprised, to be honest. This, ever since, you know what? I don't even, I don't even have the energy to complain about the government anymore. Well, I don't know if our government made it or not. Earliest signs of this showed up in Brazil, uh, in Africa. Okay, that's uh. That doesn't really narrow down, considering U.S. imperialism, but you know, go yeah. off. I guess. I mean, the U.S. has not has been has been pretty well known to test things in foreign countries. This is true. 
but at the same time, every country has done that. And to be frank, we're not sure if this could have been a privatized thing as well. All I can tell you is that I can tell you with my security clearance, this is not something I'm aware of. Yeah, fair. Thanks for uh, at least Lee. disclosing that to us. Yeah, well, at not... this point, there's not much point not to. There's not much at this point. Exactly, Misha. No, I think the situation is beyond anything like this. This could have been American-made, I suppose. Could have been Russian. Could have been Chinese. Could have been English. Hell, could have been Guatemalan, for all we know. My bet is on France. My bet... Uh... Did the uh, fire... Does... does he, he... Important question. Now, when you hit the virus, does it surrender? No. <laughs> so it's not, not French. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Michael, to be honest, I was really sad that you did not say the... You bet was German, just because the medic actually does know how to regenerate quickly. <laughs> just some... Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. Make it a so I fix that. I fucking realistic? <laughs> what do I mean? You can't just know. beat the heavy from TF2, Andy. <laughs> In um, Krieg Artsman says what? <laughs> in any case, yeah, I know, I love it. We got, we, we got TM2 Heavy, and then we got a freaking Warhammer 40k nut. This is a, this fantastic party. <laughs> <laughs> we have two characters that are not completely meme-ish. One that half meme, and two that are just complete memes. Listen, someone killed my serious character, so I said, fuck it! It was not serious. <laughs> John, John was not a serious from- Grubs. Get out of oh, here. With that he had a backstory, guys. You don't even know. Nobody <laughs> fucking cares. He's dead. <laughs> and you'll so never find out what the nipple, nipple ring was all about. <laughs> we just hear in the distance just an explosion. Like, what the hell was that? It was just his grenade in his heart. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like a great man has fallen. <laughs> great man has fallen. <laughs> So, Michael, are you ever going to explain what the nipple, grenade, uh, the nipple ring we'll, was? We'll get to that later, guys. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Caleb, uh, were you doing something? I was just moving my character over to the pool table. For okay. the <laughs> oh, God, I just realized I need to find my felt coat on. Yeah, that's, um, a pretty good, that's a pretty good corner over there. In any case, it seems like things are going at a rather horrific state. As we said, so far, several refu- we've had several refugees make it to the CDC, and we've lost contact, unfortunately, with the military base in New York itself, as well as, honestly, the country at the moment. Hmm. So, we should probably start- we probably should start looking for supplies if we're running out low on stuff. So, to say the least, we're going to have to start- uh, we have soldiers out looking for some at the moment. Though, as we said, apart from the <laughs> for the and he uses quotation marks with his fingers zombies out there uh, we also have to, we also have to worry about the gangs and these crazy white supremacists that are running about the city mm-hmm. in any case things are rough and we're going to have to keep ourselves heads down but we believe the government has some sort of plan in order, and we're hoping it'll be ready soon. I mean... Spearheaded by our golem for a jump. Fuck. You say that in character? He's no. anything but. Everyone just turns and fires. <laughs> just... Except, except Mishael, who's just like, eh, he is not as bad as people think. Wow. I guess, yeah. Well, he's friends like, with Russians. Come on. I was going to say, your baseline's Putin. You don't get this. <laughs> oh, a uh, quick question. Can everyone charge their electronics or are they pretty much off the grid? You would be able to charge your electronics here. Yes! Uh, <laughs> they have massive generators and self generators in this place. You would not be allowed to just, like, play video games, but important electronics you could charge. Though your cell phones have no signal. <laughs> Can Caleb charge their MP3? 
What are you gonna play on it? For shits and giggles, roll me a stealth check. <laughs> Make it simple. It's not that hard to do. So you get to double your modifier. Oh, <laughs> Could I catch them? That's well, well, you gotta roll again. Okay, yes, I will say heavy. Amisha catches Caleb trying to charge their iPod using the base's very limited resources. <laughs> you get to look. You just get to look. And, sit, and he just says, no. <laughs> Caleb pouts slightly and is like, mean. <laughs> just want to listen to tunes, dude, bro. Question is, what is, what is Caleb playing this? If you wish to listen to tunes, then fine. <clears throat> No question, Keith. Do we have uh actually we have Groovy on this server? No. I do have singing. I I do want I I just wanted to play the no sound effect. Funnily enough, he uh he he actually passes too, funnily enough. <laughs> for a passable singing challenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have Groovy, but this God. Is uh, uh, this is so studied in the great, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> Rush is known for his opera. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no! Actually, actually, you know what the thing is? Heavy actually did study literature and uh, I think performative arts. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, he was. My he, he 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 actually has a PhD in Russian literature. He's actually more qualified to be a doctor than the fucking medic is. <laughs> Caleb anyway. is mildly horrified yet intrigued. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. In any case, guys. <laughs> As fun as the meme is, uh, we'll continue forward as the rest of the party gathers. I am so happy I invested two points into singing. <laughs> <laughs> they could have been used for any other useful thing, but I said, nope, singing. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. And then Michael's like, why do all my characters die? <laughs> uh, because someone gave away my cover. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> In any case, so... You guys are in the base as he, uh, Dr. Phil is with all of you. Basically, uh, if there's any world lore you'd like, you can ask. Otherwise, I will move to the next event. Nor if there's any conversations you guys wish to have with any NPCs, you may do so. Next event. Next can I possibly event. Get, can I possibly get a backup shotgun? Sure, I'll let you have a shotgun. Oh! Could I have, like, three market cards? Everybody gets a rifle. Nice. Yeah. I am not going to be firing this at Same. all. <laughs> wait, wait, no. Could, hey, can I... Can I, I, I technically I, use it as a fucking club? No, uh, can I have it so I can do wield rifles? <laughs> yes. I <laughs> give uh, my rifle. <laughs> wait. Nice. I think this give fell like a fucking... Give him a new shovel. Come on. They have to well, have a shovel. Fel, okay, here. let me rephrase. Everybody but Caleb and Fell get a rifle. They don't, they're not going to get the 15-year-old a rifle. That doesn't really work. Damn it. <laughs> you built the 15-year-old. You can get one from a corpse. Fell, they give you... They give you a combat axe shovel. <laughs> oh. Why for the meme? He's got a shovel, baby. Uh, what kind is of it, uh, shotgun do it, I have? Is it, the same, yeah. is it the same? Is it the same stats as a normal shotgun? It would be the actual stats of an axe. Bird shot. Uh, or bird shot? Okay. It'd be buckshot. Buckshot. Nice. Bird shot's I'm, not meant for fucking taking out people. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving Han my rifle because I'm not using a gun. Well, I can't. You, I can't actually do a real rifle, so I'll give it to Kate. Well, actually, since he you actually... probably have slug if anything. I'll just give them the rifle back. Slug? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you'd have a slug it for a military All right, shotgun. All right, All right, you got a rifle, Laura. Don't worry. No. Yes. No, he's not good for the I love how all my weapons do the same amount of damage. 
I am not giving a gun to a fucking child thing. The fucking child can probably shoot better than you, my guy. I know that yeah, we're well aware it's more of, out of pride. <laughs> it's it's a character thing, like they just. I know. I'm just. I'm wondering how Caleb is respond would respond to that. <laughs> it, it's more I'm pride. not really for giving guns to 15 year olds either, IRL. But Caleb is also, <laughs> you know, prepper kid. Yeah. Uh, what kind of rifle are we talking, Keith? Uh, everybody gets the same gun as the military has, so you would all have uh, seven, assault rifle seven six yeah seven sixty millimeter seven sixty two. Uh, no, I th I think the Russians had the seven sixty two. Americans have five fifty six. Well, I gave you the seven sixty two. That's what everybody. Awesome. Has. We have AK. We have AK. It's perfect. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Oh there are other oh weapons God. that use 7.62 millimeter, you know? I'll say everybody's got two clips. Cheers. I don't know how to fire a gun. I'm how many shots is that? Give me a second. Third. I think it's 50, but I could be wrong. Oh, no, the average clip is between 20 to 30, Heath. Yeah, but Third. I meant for two clips, that would give you 30 sh about 50 shots. And how many shells do I have? I'll say eight. Uh, how do you determine rate of fire? Rate of fire is... Oh, is that EB? Yeah, uh, don't worry about your rate of fire right now, guys. For the purposes, you'll just get one shot, just for the simplicity of it. Can yeah, I we'll switch to a bigger it. knife. Huh? No. Can I be given a bigger knife instead of a rifle or no? I mean, if you want a combat knife, they can give you a combat knife. Give me a combat knife. Let's go. Okay, you got a combat knife. Let's go. It is. I now can deal a whole D D four times two damage. Okay. okay. Next event. Uh, so as the next event occurs, guys. You guys are sleeping soundly on the 21st day. Uh, things seem to be good. One second as I move you into a proper area. Do -do. Heavy has decided to spend the night with you guys. He's, he's taking a shining to you all for whatever reason. Ooh. Russians are weird. He is, he is true, but he's become the Pootis bird. He uses Noah like a teddy bear and just... <laughs> <laughs> Little baby man's skin is soft. <laughs> it's good for cuddle. I see it's the cry again. Good. <laughs> Did you guys all are uh, camping out in an area where you can sleep? Uh, your other party members are also scattered throughout the uh, base. And as night time hits and time comes, you hear what sounds to be an odd moment as a siren starts blasting. Oh boy. Uh... I spring awake and I and I go immediately to speak to my commander to see what's happening. Grab my shit and I'm ready to bounce, as all good soldiers are. Dang. Caleb's uh... gonna say gone. you're just gonna leave us alone in the margin. What? You're just gonna leave us alone in an emergency, these civilians? I am not your babysitter, but if you must, go! As he just points to the door. Uh, Han is gonna reach under his bed for the rifle that, uh, uh, Noah gave him and just handed Caleb, saying, Please don't shoot me in the back of the head. God damn it. <laughs> I'm giving that to a kid! I, I will. Caleb is practicing good guard safety and all that. Yeah, just remember. <laughs> No finger in the trigger unless you're ready to shoot. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's move. And I'm going to grab my pistol, my baton, and my rifle, and let's head out. Okay, so you guys head out of the building where you go out and you see a bunch of the guards and soldiers running about in a panic. Uh, everybody roll me a notice check. That's just perception, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Difficult. Be difficult. Yeah. Difficult. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. 
So. Shit. That, that oh, was nice. probably difficult. Well, I mean, you rolled a 10 regardless, but rolled again. You rolled a T10 again. Nice. Okay. So everybody but Noah. That's funny. Yep. <laughs> I just pushed him out of my bed. He I'm doesn't like, have his glasses oh! on at the moment, dude. He can't hear without his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I, just get, I just get to the door. I just start gesturing people. I'm just like, go, go, go. You guys hear He grabs Noah and uses him as a battering ram. You guys hear what sounds like wild gunfire coming from outside. And oh, explosions. Geez. Oh, this is not good. I go to speak to my commanding officer. Yeah, you go find your command. It's like, God damn it, Michel, what the hell are you doing? We gotta get ourselves ready! I am ready. Oh, it's ready. What is happening? Those goddamn white supremacists attacked the area, threw up a fucking van full of TNT, blew up the gates, and sent zombies in here. We're being overrun right now! God damn it! Alright. Defender. Defender. Make a line! We will have to stand and fight. Uh, stand and fight might be more difficult than you think. We gotta get the civilians out of here! Reason you get them out of here now! Fine. Everyone follow me as I. I don't know where I'm going, Heath. <laughs> don't, don't worry. For the purposes of the map, we're not gonna worry about it as you're gonna take them to the, like, the, the emergency escape hatch. Uh, Noah, Noah, do you know how to fire a pistol? No. Fuck, okay. I guess also, baby right. man, get I moving. I, I, I'm moving, Jesus, come on. <laughs> Go! Faster! Phil, <laughs> what about you? Do you know how to fire a gun? Faster. I am walking up to wherever the sound goes with shovel rays. <laughs> so Phil, you're... no. Uh, you know what? Get back in line! Orders are to go with civilians! Mm, you see, he makes a pretty good argument. <laughs> falls now. Ha, Fel, you follow your commanding officer immediately. <laughs> I follow commanding officer. <laughs> Jesus. Good. You're a good Creek soldier. I don't, I don't know what the hell I I'm saying. American. I don't. I don't know what I'm saying either, don't worry. Let's go. Let's go. Now go! I'm going, I'm going. Jeez. Going. You guys start moving up as you get closer and you, you start heading up these winding staircases. As you head up, you can hear the sounds of combat and shouts and bloody screams, explosions. Uh, you peek out your heads over and you just see what looks to be thousands of zombies kind of just running into the base with soldiers firing machine guns heavily blasting them away but unfortunately as you it looks like the guards have it under control but occasionally you hear another shot and you just see a, a, a guardsman or a soldier drop to the ground dead as you oh, f fuck. look about and you can tell that s there are snipers somewhere we have to I'm just gonna Sniper! look to I'm just gonna look to Micah and just say listen as much as I think we should get to safety. We probably need to take those guys out right now, or else they're gonna oh, fuck what? us over. We can just run. What? Run to where? There's I not these guys you here to run us. And I start pushing you towards our evac boy. I'm just like, order us to leave. Get going. See, he gets it. I'm gonna start leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna look to uh, uh, to fell and kill him. Just say. You know what? Fuck it. We, I guess we have no choice. No, you do not. Yep. Yeah. May not like the cop at the cop as much, but I'm sticking with Fell and. Hmm. Fair. And you're not the worst of cops that I've seen. So. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, that was security, Bob. In any case. <laughs> As you guys start moving, don't bring, don't bring up security, Bob. He was my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> you guys start moving through the town streets. Uh, everybody, roll me a stealth check as you try to sneak through this area. As you see, see the mayhem going on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I have been. And for the first time in my life, I rolled a difficult. Check. Oh. Okay, you all passed. So nobody's gonna take a sniper shot to the leg. Uh, I have a question. How the fuck is the big Russian sneaking effectively? <laughs> I am is it like 
He's very, right. he's very used to crouching down and uh, he yeah. took out Looking a bush friendly. and just put it in front of his head and disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty then. I just picked, I'll up, not I just picked up a mailbox, punched at the bottom, and just put it over me. Just. <laughs> The, the thing is, J Russians are actually the most stealthy people in the world, like, uh, there's a Russian right behind you at this very moment, but you can't perceive him. That's what it is, yeah, that's fine. As you guys start leaving the town, you start noticing that, like, you look over, your thing is seeing more and more mayhem. You do not know where your other friends had gone or went, but you assume they also were evacuated back into the city. Do I have an evac point I'm supposed to bring him to? Uh, you evac point, you you wander towards what looked like to be an evac point. It is also overrun and destroyed. <laughs> Alright, do I know where the nearest military base is where I can take these civilians? Uh, the one that you guys were still in contact with uh, is unfortunately Fort Tides was just, you had lost contact with Fort Tides. As that I mentioned earlier. All right. Uh, so the nearest one you were still in contact with recently is unfortunately all the way back up. Where the heck was that base on this map? I believe was... Uh, yeah, it's all the way back up in Queens, I believe. We have turned the ahead of us. plan was at... just for us to leave with him for just to leave with the civilians. I was no. about to eat back you guys, which means to get you to safety. Those are my orders, and I will say, we have turned the ahead of us. Be prepared. Um, didn't you? If you guys, how close are we to like the water? Like, are we like right on the edge of it, or is it kind of just like a couple blocks away? Um. You're about a mile away. All right, here's my plan. We try to find a boat somewhere near here and try to cross um, cross into trying to get to Queens via boat. Because if we do, if we go walk all the way towards Queens, it's going to, we're going to get annihilated. No, no, we need cover. If we go on boat, we are a sitting duck. Sniper fire will pick us off easily. We must stay to cover. We must stay to build it. Yes, but then the zombies are gonna come and find us. This is Gentlemen. quietly enough. We can avoid them. Agreed. I... Chances with brainless zombies are better than with snipers. <sighs> I was just gonna just like tap his finger against the rifle for a second, just like trying to find a way to try to convince you guys. But he's like, "All right, all right. Um, do you have any armored vehicles at least?" Not here. Shit. Bait, yes. If we can find, if we have, if there is plane, I can pilot it. You can pilot. Oh, okay, perfect. That's. Uh, uh, again, that's the closest one all. is over here. So that that's why I'm still thinking the boat since. Uh, what kind of plane can you fly? Do you mean commercial airplane or like small smaller plane? I can fly a jet plane. <laughs> I can fly plane. Just turns out to be the paper airplane. <laughs> no. No, we must get moving. The longer we stay here, the longer the zombies come to find us. Now let's move. Alright. Well, Russian man. Okay, so you guys are going to head down towards the docks, for, or where are you going? We're heading to the military base. If Memory search correctly. Okay, so I, I misspoke. It's not Queens, it's Manhattan. Oh, okay. I mean, it's about the same distance. Yeah. It's just, uh, this, if you look up, it's that blue, that dot up here. I still consider the boat to probably be our best option so we can go out this way and go around. Yeah. We'd never make it with this amount of the in the area. I am not against boats, but we need, would need to go depart from somewhere else. Alright, uh... I mean, they're se they seem pretty busy, uh, at least with the, uh, the CDC. That's why I'm thinking that this is our best opportunity to find a boat and get out. Not now. It's a bad idea. We need to stick to cover. We need to head north. 
Come. Right. And he just starts walking north towards. Wait, right. should we like grab like bottles of water or something before we leave so we're not out there with no food and no water or anything? I don't really have. Did, did, did we just not have time to do that or? Yeah, pretty much. You guys were just evacuated because you know zombie right. attack and sniper fire. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Put this um, again. Caleb's oh, gonna clear their throat and say, uh, "What about the fort south? Or is that bridge too exposed?" Too exposed. Uh, yep. Yeah, plus that fort, there is no. They they lost any kind of radio contact from that fort. And right. It's not the first attack of this, of this sort. We must get moving now. All right. I'll follow his lead then. All right. Okay. I will follow. I will follow the coward. So, with uh, you guys moving out into the streets, uh, the sniper and bullets, zombies everywhere, fire and explosions. Uh, I'll ask everybody to make me one last stealth trek as you move into the streets. Ready for everybody to fail? There yep. it is. Next. Next. Oh. Uh, mine wasn't difficult, so. Yep, it was a difficult, so you succeed. So, uh, this time, uh, Hans and Nisha, the pair of you move forward stealthily. Um, everybody else just succeeds their stealth check with Caleb succeeding well. Uh, but ha Hans and Nisha, you guys start moving forward as you hear, Woo wee! Look at them! We got oh, ourselves shit. a Rusky! <laughs> uh, I immediately turn and shoot. Yeah, same here. Okay, uh, roll attacks. Oh. Oh. 360, no scope! Oh. Damn, so yeah, you guys like, boosh! You, you, you guys blast two guys down immediately. And two more fire back. I right. would like to hit the ground. I would also like to hit the ground. I would like to charge blindly. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to die. <laughs> as they fire back, they both miss. So you get fire back as the shots just go wide. I fired. Uh, uh, is there like any cover? Like, are they looking down through like an alley, or are they so just like the a... thing with the firefight? If you take cover, you can't shoot, and if you shoot, you can't take cover. Is one or the other. I will fire again. Uh, I am going to check to see if anybody else is hurt first, and then try to take a shot. Okay, uh, nobody else. You are the only two they've been shooting at, so you look around, nobody's been shot. So you guys get to both take one more shot each. That's good. Holy oh, shit. Nice. Hey, roll it again, Michael. Okay. Nice. So, Michael, you shoot down, another one drops to the ground, while you, uh, Han, you wing a guy in the arm. Don't forget to mark off your ammo, guys. Yep. Uh, how many, uh, how many? Do I have? Uh, you both have, uh, I, I, I'm going to say the clips are 25, just for simplest sake, so 50 rounds. All right. All right. Let's... Way to determine how to... Where did we put the uh, ammo type? Uh... Uh, I believe you can. You just put it in your inventory. Yeah, I just okay. put in questions. Yeah, you just got right. it. So we're at 48 rounds. Yeah. Hey, the last guy kind of goes, takes another pot shot at you guys. Oh, that one will hit Misha. Have I not reached this man? Uh. And that will hit Misha for... So let me double check the stat on the gun for these guys because the Supremists have a different gun. Sixteen life points, Misha. You get shot on the arm. Ow. All right. Uh, is he return... I'm going to return fire and try to... Uh... Say, get get him out of here. Ooh. That'll take him out as the last one just drops dead. 
All right. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Man, I am actually kind of badass with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, rolling good? I know, it's crazy. I'm going to flip on my safety and just say, uh, you hurt there, buddy? No. As he just big bullet in his arm. As he just, like, <laughs> flexes the bullet out of his arm. <laughs> that is the manliest people. fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Can we keep going now, please? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Wait, let's grab that Let's grab food. Oh, let's grab, let's grab their shit, yeah. They have guns. Oh my god. Uh, uh, so you, they were not like next to you, eh? You guys were in a firefight, so you'd have to move towards the firefight. Like, yeah, there's no. an active battle zone going on, you realize. No, no. don't <laughs> grab them. Go Never mind. This, this isn't Bye. like, oh, I just killed the three guys, and I was like, no, there's like soldiers and zombies everywhere, so... Okay. All right, fine. Let's keep moving. Just letting you know. I mean, you can do it, but it's not like as simple as I was walk over and get the guns. <laughs> you know, right. I'm, I'm going to test this. I'm, like, I'm actually not going to do it, but I want to see what I would have rolled if I rolled a stealth to try to get it. Damn it. Huh. Oh, uh, well. You know what? I won't, I won't actually do this. It was a yeah. test. Yeah. So you guys uh, you guys bolt off into the night of the streets, uh, escaping with the firefight with the four dead men behind you. Moving yourselves, wait, moving yourselves back to uh, into the city streets. Behind you, the base is on fire. The zombies sped across the entire area, being gouged and fought. No idea whether that the CDC will hold, but by the looks of it, it's not looking good. As you guys disappear into the night skies, we'll end their session there tonight, guys. Alrighty. Oh, that is. 